Colorado ZDL air brake practice test. Question 1. How can you tell if your vehicle is equipped with an anti-lock braking system? ABS is still optional. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2010. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. If the vehicle is manufactured after 2000. Answer. If the vehicle is manufactured after 1998. Question 2. Which of the following does ABS do? Decreases your normal braking capability. Shortens your stopping distance. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Increases your normal braking capability. Answer. Activates when the wheels are about to lock up. Question 3. Which of the following is not part of the air brake system? Emergency brake system. Radio signal system. Service brake system. Parking brake system. Answer. Radio signal system. Question 4. Why must you study air brakes in the state of Colorado? Otherwise, you will have to get the CDL with restrictions. All trucks have air brakes in Colorado. Otherwise, you cannot receive a CDL at all. Otherwise, you can only receive a CDL permit. Answer Otherwise, you will have to get the CDL with restrictions. Question 5. Slack adjusters are Part of your air brake system used to adjust the brakes Between the pushrod and S-cam on drum brakes Between the power screw and pushrod on disc brakes All of the above Answer. All of the above. Question 6. When should you use the parking brake? Only in urban areas, where there are many other vehicles. Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Only if you are away from your vehicle for an extended amount of time. Every time you leave your vehicle, for any amount of time. Answer. Every time you leave your vehicle, except for rare exceptions. Question 7. How do brakes work on a long, steep downgrade? As the main braking mechanism. Not applicable. There is no braking effect involved in a downgrade as a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. As the main braking mechanism, with the engine braking effect as an emergency backup. Answer As a supplement to the braking effect of your engine. Question 8. How would you check your truck's slack adjusters? Press the brake pedal while listening for any strange noises. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Accelerate, then brake hard. All of the above. Answer. Use gloves and pull hard on each slack adjuster you can reach. Question 9. Which of the following is not part of the drum brake? Slack adjuster. Axle. Brake drum. Safety valve. 
Answer. Safety valve. Question 10. Which of the following is true about a dual error brake system? They use a single set of brake controls. One system usually operates the front axle and one operates the rear axle. One is called the primary system and one is called the secondary system. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 11. The maximum leakage rates per minute are 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 6 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles, 5 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 10 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. 1 pound per square inch for single vehicles, 3 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Answer 3 pounds per square inch for single vehicles, 4 pounds per square inch for combination vehicles. Question 12 Which of the following is true about your brake function if your ABS fails? It may cause problems with other mechanical systems and there could be a huge fire risk. You will still have normal brake function, and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. It will slow your truck to a halt and force you to pull over. You will have no brake function and the truck will be out of control. Answer you will still have normal brake function, and simply need to get the ABS repaired soon. Question 13. Which of the following is the reason that air tanks must be drained? Your transmission fluid may drain out. Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. Your left side brake will cease to operate. You will drive too quickly if they are not. Answer Your brakes may fail due to the water freezing. Question 14. At what measurement is the safety valve usually set to open? 100 pounds per square inch. 250 pounds per square inch. 200 pounds per square inch 150 pounds per square inch Answer 150 pounds per square inch Question 15 Which of the following is not part of the braking process when driving a tractor trailer combination vehicle with ABS? You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. You should use only the braking necessary to stay safely in control. Brake the same regardless of what you're driving, whether you have a trailer or ABS, or neither. When you slow down, you should monitor your tractor and trailer and ease off the brakes to keep control. Answer You should drive more quickly so that you will be able to keep the trailer and tractor straight. Question 16. What is the best way to test if your vehicle's spring brakes come on automatically? Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out, on tractor trailers vehicles. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the manufacturer's low size specification have been met for spring brakes to deploy. Continue to step on and off the brake pedal until the parking brake valve pops out on single vehicles. All of the above. 
Answer. All of the above. Question 17. Which vehicles must have low air pressure warning signals? Only those built after 2005. Warning signals are optional. Only those built after 2010. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Answer. All vehicles with air brakes currently in operation. Question 18. The tractor protection valve will close itself automatically if the air supply drops to a certain level. Provides your air supply for brake system. Is closed by the parking brakes. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 19. The purpose of a supply pressure gauge is To tell you how much air is in the tank. To tell you how hot the air in the tank is. To warn you only if there is too little air in the tank. All of the above. Answer To tell you how much air is in the tank. Question 20. What is the best way to test your vehicle's low air pressure warning signal? Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Pump the brakes until the air pressure drops below 30 pounds per square inch. Manually let the air out of your brakes and see if the signals comes on. Pump the brakes while your vehicle is fully on. Answer Step on and off the brake pedal, with the engine off, to reduce air pressure below 60 pounds per square inch. Question 21. Which of the following factors can cause brakes to fail or fade? Brakes being out of adjustment. Not relying on engine braking enough. Excessive use of the service brakes. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 22. When should you drain your air tanks? At the end of a trip. At the end of the month. At the end of each working day. At the end of the fiscal quarter. Answer. At the end of each working day. Question 23. Which conditions are front wheel brakes good under? Front wheel brakes are never ideal. All weather conditions. Only good weather. Only wet or icy conditions. Answer. All weather conditions. Question 24. Spring brakes are Not going to have full effect until your side drops to a certain range, often, 20 to 30 pounds per square inch. Made up of powerful springs, that are held in back, while you are driving, by air pressure. Brakes that come on automatically on a truck on tractor when the side drops too low. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 25. Which of the following should you do before leaving your vehicle unattended? Remove the keys. Put on the parking brakes. Chalk the wheels. All of the above. 
Answer. All of the above. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.